It is so important that you have a capturing tool to gather all of your new ideas, all those new requests that you either receive or those things that just pop up into your mind throughout the day. A few weeks ago, I created a video asking the question if you should switch from Evernote as your primary capturing tool to Google Keep. And the reason why I asked this question and why I created this video is that I found that I needed something that was quicker, something that was faster and easier than Evernote. I just found it was a little sluggish to me as I would uh, whip out my phone or, or log on to my computer and try and capture that note. And I found that Google Keep is actually quite quick, quite efficient in capturing these new thoughts. It generated a lot of discussion, a lot of great questions, and today I wanted to zero in on one of those questions. Martin from Northern Ireland asks, I noticed that you can create a Google Doc from a note, but can you create the link to it, say in Google Drive? Great question, Martin. Let's take a closer look. So if you are an Evernote user, you are probably already familiar with this function. At the top of your note, if you select more, there's a copy note link. So you select this and it's going to copy uh, the link to your clipboard. And now you can go paste it anywhere, right? You can paste it in a document, you can paste it in an email, and then you can come right back to this note. You can reference that note from other places uh, on the web or in other documents. Can you do the same in Google Keep? Well, yes, you can. You just have to do it a little more traditionally. However, it doesn't take any additional clicks. So if I click on this note, for example, there's a more section and I'm looking for, you know, copy link or, you know, how can I, how can I take this link and put it somewhere else? There's make a copy, but that's just going to copy this note within Google Keep. The last option is copy to Google Doc, and this is what Martin was referencing in his question. If I select this, it's actually going to create this note in Google Doc. Essentially, it's going to replicate it in Google Doc. Uh, you know, say this is a, a large article or, a, you know, maybe it's a, a lot of notes that I want to do some further editing in in Google Docs. That's what that function is for. But where is the ability to copy the link? Well, all you need to do is look up at your web address or your URL. Copy this link and you can paste that anywhere that you want. So for example, if I go over here to my Google document, I've already pasted that link in my document here. If I select it, I'm gonna select that link. It's gonna open up a new tab, open up Google Keep, and there it is. There's the note that I copy and pasted. I can reference that note from my Google Doc. Um, if you wanna paste it in an email, same, same type of example, I'm gonna hit that link and it's going to automatically open up that note so I can reference it. I can even start editing it if I like. So yes, you can use that. However, there's one caveat that I discovered, and that is if you copy that link and paste it somewhere outside of your web browser. So here's the example. I'm gonna open up my Word document, and here I have pasted both. I've, I've pasted my Google Keep note link here, the one we've just been using, and I've also pasted my Evernote link as an example. So from within my Word document that is not online, this is not Microsoft Online, this is my, my uh, Microsoft Word application which is native to my, uh, to my desktop. If I click this to follow that link, let's see what happens. It opens up a new tab. Huh? I gotta sign in? it's not taking me directly to the note. So if I say sign in, it's gonna to continue to go forward. It's gonna bring me within Google Keep, but then that's it. It's not even gonna bring up that note at all. So it looks like there's a bit of a hiccup with Google Keep and linking uh, your notes, linking your notes outside of your web browser. Now, if I go back to my Word document, here's the Evernote link. I'm gonna control click that. Let's see what happens here. Opens up a new tab 
and it brings me straight to the note. There is the note. That's the note that I wanted. It didn't ask me to log in. It didn't just bring me to my uh, Evernote screen or, or my Evernote homepage. I can actually access that note here. So something to think about. If you're using these links uh, exclusively within the browser, yeah, you can copy and paste these anywhere you want, within an email, within Google Drive, within other areas of the web. But you may want to be wary if you're you're pasting that link outside, such as uh, you know Microsoft Word or some other document that sits outside of your web browser. Thank you, Martin, for the question, and thank you for watching. I would encourage you to take either Google Keep or Evernote for a test drive if you haven't already. I recommend this to a lot of people if you've used the same application for more than two years. Things change. The way you use the application may have changed. So spend some time with something that's new to you or that's unfamiliar. You may actually find a faster or more efficient way to do things. Remember, to be at your productive best is not that difficult. In fact, it's very simple.